Hi, I'm Max Jones, nice to meet you, and this is the intro to my showreel. Um, <clears throat> I suppose you might best like to describe yourself as a blank canvas when I approach a project. I like to think whatever it is, the part, however you want it playing, or if you want me to bring something extra to it, then that's how I'll adapt it. I've been in a variety of uh, small independent features, uh, but mainly it's been stage work that I've done. Uh, children's pantomimes, musicals, um, usually playing the aggressive, miserable authoritarian side of a comedy double act. I always try to play it completely serious and straight, which makes all the humour bounce off me all the better, I find. Also, uh, in addition, and this was purely just to show my complete love of acting, went out about ten years ago and learned how to ride a horse. So I like to think um, I can play an age range anywhere between, so say, 27 to maybe we make up late 50s or above, I suppose. Certainly don't like to narrow my field. There's certain characters that I feel very comfortable in playing. I feel very comfortable playing the thuggish type. I feel very comfortable playing the children's entertainer, goofy, clown kind of character. But um, at the same time, be just as comfortable playing something totally alien to me. Some a character that I've never even played, never even imagined. Nice to meet you, and hope we can work together sometime. Hello, John! Yeah, that was a little rude, wasn't it, John? You hurt my tender feelings. You know what a delicate little flower I am. Stay down! My mum told me when I was about <clears throat> five years old that you shouldn't tell lies, because it'll only lead to trouble. You are a mess that I'm now forced to deal with, and I am a very tidy fucking man! So, let's get on with it. Hey, what can I get you to drink? Another tea, Maria. I've seen you here before, have I? You know, normally all we get midweek is the Frank Sinatra, quarter three in the morning, set up Joe types. It's nice to see a cheerful face for a change. I'm celebrating. Oh, really? Are your friends meeting you soon? And, no, Your Honour, that question is not leading. No, I just landed a job abroad and decided to go out and see what happens. Oh, well, let me be the first one to say congratulations, good luck, and beg you not to go. Why? Well, you see, I have this big plan. I was going to get your phone number. You and me was going to have three truly spectacular dates before you realise that I'm only good as a bartender and a friend. Basic man, you're going nowhere. Gail okay, left you and God knows I don't blame her. Now look, look, I know it seems like I'm being harsh, but I'm going to do you a favour. See, I'm going to get on the ground floor this new piece of software. Now, I know it sounds like fun, but this thing's amazing. You practically cost to make your life with it. You'd be able to have everything you overbearing my ever wanted you to have. Now, don't start with that's me mother, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Do you know she invited me to Christmas dinner last year? And where were you? You know, you take that attitude. But your mother used to say I was no good for you. Told you to avoid me. And now just last week, she told me not to waste my time with you. Look, get on board with me, man. Take the disc. Come on, give it a go.